Is everybody paying attention? Is everybody looking in Nevada and seeing what's happening? Is everybody really aware that this is not about cattle? It's not about grazing rights. It's not about tortoise and habitats. This has nothing to do with the real issues at hand. The real issue at hand is that our system is corrupt. And we can even see the sickness in our evening news. The sickness that the corruption causes. Even the fair and balanced, impartial, right-wing alternative to MSNBC and CNN Fox News has pundits on there saying, well, Mr. Bundy just doesn't want to follow the court's order. He doesn't want to pay the grazing fees. Forgetting these idiot lawyers are forgetting the ex post facto law is constitutionally illegal, which is directly related to what's happening here. Making laws that make what was legal yesterday illegal today. And who's doing that? A guy in a black robe, and somehow that robe makes him right. I think not. Just because a law is a law, or a ruling is a ruling, does not make it morally upright and correct. Obamacare makes us buy a product and makes companies sell a certain product. Not by choice, by force. That is obviously wrong. So laws being laws don't really mean shit if they don't hold true to the principles of freedom. And these officers, I hear the pundits defend them, or Megyn Kelly the other day on Fox said, well, I, f I just I f I fear for the safety of these BLM employees. <laughs> Why, Megan? Why do you fear for their safety? People cannot hide behind a badge anymore. We cannot look at these men who ignore the Constitution, who point guns and tasers at women and American citizens who are having their property stolen as somebody we should give a damn about. When somebody violates the Constitution, threatens people who haven't committed a crime as these BLM employees have, they are now criminals, Megan. And for you not to realize that is sad to me. It's sad because so many people listen to you. The fact of the matter is these men have brains, and just because some bureaucrat in Washington tells them to do something doesn't mean they're mindless tools and they have to do it. People have to think for themselves. We as human beings with a brain and cognitive ability, higher, the highest, highest thinking powers of all the animals, have the obligation to think and use our minds. These men behind their badges must realize what they are doing is wrong, and if they do not, they are party to it. Do not pity them. They have a mind that they can use their judgment, but they choose not to for a paycheck. Also, I'm sure, because that power they have is corrupting. As they sit there and sick dogs on people that have, are trying to make a living raising cattle. As they point tasers at a man's son. These are the people who all across this country dress up in military gear every chance they get. They turn Watertown and Boston into a martial law district and they turn every chance they get into a big opportunity to pull out their SWAT teams and their riot gear and their nice custom rifles and their face shields and their plexiglass riot shields and their batons and look like they're in Afghanistan. This is America, alright? And damn it, in America last time I checked? We had a constitution, and the government served us. It served me and you. It does not exist to perpetuate itself. It exists only because we see it useful. And if we cease to see it useful, we can retract our consent and its governance is no longer valid. Hence the, the, the second part of the Declaration of Independence, right after the introduction of the preamble. Staying clearly without the consent of the governed, the government has no power. In Nevada, we are witnessing people realize that constitutional power that our founders gave us and telling these people, you have no authority over me. When I am within the constitution and my rights, you are the villain and I am the hero and you will get off my damn land. We must meet force with force. Force of will is the only thing that will overcome people looking to oppress our rights. Because they're bringing force, we better too. 
You see, this is not just something so simple like I said about tortoises and their habitats and cattle and grazing rights. This is about whether or not you have the right to retract your consent. This is whether or not you have the ability to stand, or the God-given right to stand up and say, no, damn it, you're wrong. And you will respect my freedom. Because you see, in the end, it comes down to one word. That's control. Do we control the government? Or does the government control us?